Okay, example seven. Two fences in a field meet at 120 degree angle. Right here. So these are the fences. Let me get some different colors out so we can see better. We're going to have blue fences. That's natural, right? The blue wood that we use. So we're going to have a fence here making a 120 degree angle with the fence there. Okay? This other, this other thing in here, we're on day two, example seven. This is the rope that the cow is tethered to the corner of the fence there. Okay? The fence makes a 120 degree angle with the other fence, and we have this cow that's attached to a rope, so its grazing area is right in here. All right? And it says the rope is 15 foot long, uh, showing the figure over how many square feet may the cow graze. So, what I want you to visualize here, which um, quite often doesn't happen in these problems, is there's a part of a circle sitting here, but they don't draw the whole circle. If you visualize the whole circle, like so, there's the whole circle, what we're in essence dealing with here is just a circular sector. The area the cow is grazing is a circular sector, just like we saw in example six yesterday. Mm -hmm. So what we learned yesterday about circular sectors is the area of a sector is simply pi times the radius squared. And I would uh, go with say that 15 squared is not one of those numbers you have just stuck in your brain probably, so we'll just pretend we don't know that one. If you do know, that's fine too. By all means, use a calculator to calculate. But that's the area of this whole circle here, but we're only dealing with this portion of the circle, which has a 120 degree angle out of 360 degrees. Again, this is always 360, and this angle is whatever that number is. So we create a fraction how many degrees in our sector divided by the entire circle times the area of the entire circle? Okay, and as far as the calculator is concerned here, if I type this into calculator, it's going to look like this. 120 times pi times 15 squared divided by 360. Okay. The divided by 360, I just do last. Just, I mean, I could do it right off the bat. 120 divided by 360 times pi, whatever. But... All this stuff's being multiplied. That's the only thing being divided. I usually just put that at the very end. So I go to my calculator, and I type in 120 times pi, use the pi button, times 15 squared divided by 360. My calculator knows to square 15 before it does all the multiplication. It knows to do all the multiplication before the division. So 235.62. Square feet. And the amount of space the cow has to graze. That's a lot of feet. That's a lot of square feet. Hope he's hungry.